All right, today we are continuing to look at some of the items from the recent Maryland uh, Baltimore Super Mega sale. Uh, as you know from some of the other videos, I uh, went up to Baltimore to pick up a bunch of items that were won in the online state auction. And these couple of items today had an interesting story and in that when we arrived there, all the items were in the basement. And we were trying to find the items that we had won versus the items that other people had won. And one of the people working there said, well, everything in this metal cabinet and a closet item is all in your lot. And you know, if you've bid on online auctions, probably one of your biggest hopes is that, well, maybe there's more items in the lot than what was in the photos. And that's the way it was with this lot. There was only like four or five things in the photos. Nothing real great. And when I looked in the cabinet, I started thinking, well, this looks like a lot more stuff than, than what was in the photos. And right away I saw this. And if you're familiar with British uh, airborne paratrooper items, this is a Denison smock. And Denison smock's one of the uh, more uh, desirable uh, British World War II items. Now they made the Denison smock well beyond World War II. So just looking at it, uh, you know, you wouldn't necessarily say, oh, it's 100% World War II. Maybe somebody, if you're an expert in it, you may be saying, well, it's obvious it's World War II. But it wasn't to me. I'm not that familiar with British stuff. But you can see it's quite large. It'd be kind of scary seeing some guy jumping out of a plane this size, you know, probably an officer, but, uh, you know, it's got this, I guess they would call it a tail, you know, that would actually wrap underneath it, and then, you know, would snap here, and we see it's got the tag inside of it, that's probably about the only way that right off I could tell that it was World War II, because it says May of 1943 and I think they made the Denison smocks and they said there wasn't a lot of changes up to the late 50s but the ones that are actually World War II dated and haven't been modified there's people who want over a thousand dollars for them so for this just to be sitting in a cabinet something that they never even photographed and it was included in a lot was quite a a good uh, good find and when I unzipped the jacket at first I just assumed that this was was part of the Denison smock like said I wasn't that familiar with them didn't know a whole lot about them but this is actually would have been worn under the Denison smock but it is a separate item it's a uh, battle dress uh, blouse and this one here has a tag in it showing that it's the the 1940 pattern battle dress blouse and you can see that it says November of 1944 on it and you know I guess it's kind of similar to the has some similarities to the US um, hike jacket but you know it's obviously a little more uh, certainly has its own unique features that maybe some of the US counterparts didn't have. So that was inside the Denison smock. And then as we went through the cabinet, there was also this thing. And I was like, what the, what the heck is this? And I saw that it had right this tail thing again. And I was like, well, it's obviously something to do with you know, something for a paratrooper to wear. And, you know, once again, fortunately, it was had a tag in it. Let's see if we can find it. There it is. Let me see that it's actually called a parachutist jacket, which I really wouldn't have thought of that. And we see that it it said 1942 and then it's been stamped over January of 1943 and we see it says it's a 1942 pattern and apparently what this was 
is that you would wear this over over the Denison smock and over a lot of your gear so that when when you jumped out of a plane they thought you were less likely for items to get snagged you know from your parachute to get snagged on on your web gear and so their thinking was he would wear this and then when you landed on the ground you would get rid of this and continue on and so it was just the some people actually call it an over smock you know a fairly simple item just made to and it's made out of a kind of heavier kind of denim material just to protect your gear and to keep you from getting snagged on things but you know once again you get people that want four or five hundred dollars for these and so you know for all those items and there was a bunch of other items some of the items that were in some of the other videos that were all in this this closet there and there was actually another lot that had a denison smock in it and at first when I saw this this smock I thought well this is somebody else's lot and they've mixed the items in and said no 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 this is really that's all your stuff so in this case sometimes you'll bid on something and there ends up being less stuff than what was in the photos items have gone missing but you're always hopeful that there'll be some extra item that for some reason they forgot to photograph and in this case these were a couple items that yeah they just for whatever reason didn't photograph and that kept the uh, the sale price of the auction down quite a bit the other lot that had a denison smock in it sold for with the buyers cream and everything sold for about eight hundred and fifty dollars and so they certainly would have sold for a lot more if they would have photographed these items anyways it's just a short video um, if you're like me and you don't know much about British uh, airborne items uh, hopefully you've learned a little bit about it uh, if you know a lot about it you may be saying it was obvious what these items were but it wasn't to me at the time and uh, I still don't know a lot about them but I just thought I'd throw it into a video let you see it uh, give you some hope if you're bidding on things on an online auction maybe there'll be a bunch of extra items in your lot also thanks for watching